Hi there again everyone. Welcome to my channel again. This is Josie from Life at 50 and Beyond. Welcome to part two of a series of where I make a DIY or homemade spiral notebook planner. Yes, I have decided to make it as a planner. If you have watched the part one, um, I was just mentioning there that it can be a base for a journal or anything that you want to use it for. Um, even if you want to, for example, write some short stories and, you know, separate them uh, by dividers or just use it as a journal. So anyway, um, I have decided to make this as a spiral planner for you out there who don't have the budget or do not have access to or or maybe you are just a beginner planner and you're just trying to decide what you want to use but then you need the planner now the, my advice to you is if you're thinking about uh, getting a planner start and whether it, if you buy one just just get started so that you will know okay this planner doesn't work for me so this is what I'm gonna do but this the reason why I'm showing the DIYs the homemade ones is also is that it helps those who cannot decide yet and cannot commit yet to a product and perhaps try it on their own because sometimes even if you watch multiple videos and there's a lot out there plethora of options where you can watch not only my channel but different channels there there are a lot of planner ladies with YouTube videos there's still a lot of confusion because I mean whatever works for them probably won't work for you but hopefully if you can make one on your own then you don't you didn't have to spend a lot of money uh, you know hundred dollars later and then you didn't like the product right so at least start with something like a notebook like this one so um, my first video I showed how to make the dividers and this one I want to create this is a, as a basic uh, calendar and what I'm going to be using is um, for my monthly calendars are these small ones I bought this I pulled this from the Dollar Tree um, and of course they're a dollar a piece and I like it uh, because they're small calendars and also the notes the notepads themselves so that which I can use for uh, my paper projects or even for my layouts so I'm thinking since this has the green probably I don't know if I'm gonna be using this page here at the bottom somewhere here and then put a calendar here let me just show you so, so let's just show you here so I'm thinking perhaps I can use this probably put this in the middle and then put here maybe some kind of goals for the month and then put this calendar here because there's a bike here, I don't want to cover the bicycle. Okay, or what you can also do is align it like that, and probably on the side here, probably uh, doodle or put washi uh, to decorate this. So this is a little on this side, so maybe just that so that it's aligned, and then I can use some stickers or washi. So this will be my monthly view on a calendar and then I'm gonna put here goals or I can put the goals here yeah I think that's the best way actually okay or here yeah and then probably put some washies there so at least it's it doesn't have to be too aligned you know, either way would work so I'm just showing you um, ways to do it now if you do not have access to small calendars like this one uh, you can go online if you have a computer go to Pinterest or Google calendars and then just print them if you don't want small one and you like the bigger one so much the better probably so that you have a full view and then maybe for goals you can just um, uh, when you create this then you can have the goals for your week because what I'm trying to do here is the succeeding pages so I will have the monthly on the first page here with the goals and then 
um, I want to see uh, the whole week when I open it. I don't want one day for one page. It is, I, I don't like that. And for those of you, again, who are familiar with my channel, I said that when I was setting up my traveler's notebook. So my plan here is you can do, if you want vertical, maybe fit four lines on each one. And then there's seven days in a week. And probably the last one will be your notes section or the first one will be your next uh, your notes section. You'll start with the Monday and with a Sunday or start with a Sunday and with a Saturday. Either or would work. I will start with the Monday, personally speaking, because I kind of like want to put together the weekends. Um, and then I'll probably not going to do a vertical in this one. Um, but you can do horizontal as well. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. So four horizontals and then leave the last one or use the first one as your notes section. However, I have a design here that kind of obstructs, right? So what I'm going to do is do four divisions and then leave the first one as um, notes or, or even the last one for my top three, something like that and then second week so this will be very manual again which i am just gonna plot uh, the lines and then i will be fast forwarding and we'll have a chat okay So I have completed laying down the basic foundation for 
my calendar here so if you are wondering what I'm going to be using this for I'm thinking about using this for my social media like for example my YouTube um, Instagram and even blogging and I am already liking it so what I have done here on the first page is there's going to be the goals and important dates and then here's the calendar that I got from um, from my um, and you know what I've noticed is that there are one two three four five so actually I can aside from the main one I can use this for every section so that I don't have to flip back and forth I just wonder where I'm gonna put it probably either put it down here and then cover uh, this bicycle or maybe even here I don't know yet because again I'm just preparing this for 2017 now on the next page I originally wrote uh, things or top to do's and then I realized I have stickers so I handwrite it now if you don't have stickers it's fine to totally handwrite everything I even have stickers for days and uh, I'm probably going to use them on the other months, but right now I'm just showing you that you can just write it. Uh, I put, even on the first page here, I put washi to decorate, like his make today amazing. And then I just put a small thin washi. And I have a few of this because I hold this uh, from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know if you remember, there are a set of seven thin, we call this the thin washies. And it's like a buck for seven pieces and it goes a long way now if you don't have thin washies I also hold something like from um, Amazon there are thin washies there too you just have to wait a while I mean I paid like two dollars for a set let me just show you here and I have Amazon Prime so shipping is free but it came from China so it took probably two or three weeks before it came it, it arrived but it didn't it didn't matter because you know I wasn't in a hurry but yeah I if you don't have thin washies and you have the thicker or the wider ones what you can you do is uh, just cut them in half either with a cutter as you know I have a cutter or if you don't have a cutter you can just probably tape it on some scrap paper because you know washies can be removed and then just use a cutter or use a pair of scissors to cut them straight in the middle and then just peel it off so you don't really need to buy a cutter if it's not, it's not within your budget now I'm gonna be entering my goals and important dates probably around December so that I have uh, because I still have goals and important and things to do in December and I'm just gonna be probably migrating over the things that I didn't finish now the small calendar here I'll just probably mark off the, the important dates and then I used one of my happy planner uh, stickers and just for inspiration so like this one is life isn't about finding yourself life is about creating yourself so you know my social media stuff is for you know to expand my creativity I like with all the DIYs that I've been uploading so hopefully I'll be able to maintain that and be be inspired by those words so again Monday I had written the date January 2nd 3rd 4th 5th 6th 7th and 8th since I started with a Monday of course if I started with a Sunday that that'll be the first however I want to put the weekends together because sometimes uh, we do plan a lot of things and for my social media I'm busiest during the weekend so I want to put them together and I just marked off uh, using my gel pens you know or you can use colored pencils um, and colored pens or even just black and then just write the dates there okay again use some thin washes here to divide in four and as I was saying you can do also um, vertical 
uh, probably four here very thin very narrow in the same way here but it's long narrow and long but I decided to do four you can do horizontal if you're the horizontal type do four horizontals here and then four here again the top would be the to do or the bottom would be the to do so it's up to you um, and then of course uh, there are four weeks in a month so I already prepared for that now I'm going to be probably using the other pages for notes and maybe some of the things like for my brainstorming or probably tracking and I'm going to show you that next now since um, my planner is catered or geared towards my needs your needs may be different so you may want a planner for your uh, small business or just a personal planner for your family so you will just uh, geared it towards your needs because all the things that are I am going to be writing after this one maybe you'll be able to pick up some tips but there may be things that is just catered or geared towards my needs are very specific to me like for example if you're not a youtuber uh, I'm gonna be putting here you know ideas for videos uh, materials that I need kind of. so I will be saving a few pages but I'm gonna figure that out later on so again i hope i inspired you to create your own planner and i'm really loving this again you don't really need to use washi you can just use your pen uh, just make sure that you have uh, a ruler um, i would suggest a, a t ruler okay because at least you can make sure that it's straight or you know even if you don't have a ruler anything that's straight that you can mark off the lines or if you don't like plotting the lines and you're okay with uh, just probably putting some squiggly lines just to uh, do the demarcation that's fine as well but since I love paper crafting I have a lot of stickers and um, you know journaling cards I'll probably be using them and stay tuned for more updates on this planner as I start decorating as I continue as I continue decorating it and then I will start using it and again this is Josie from Life at 50 and Beyond uh, thanks for joining me if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please click subscribe and like and share this video and also leave some comments down below what do you think about this personal uh, handmade uh, DIY planner from a notebook talk to you later bye bye